let's do some things. Probably everybody that's tuned in right now is has already somewhat familiar with Open Hasp, um, and to not, when, to not go through a big introduction of what it is or how we got to where we are. Basically, it's a touch screen um, control panel that you can customize that can work very well with Home Assistant. So what we did last time was we flashed this device, which is a this is made by a company called Landbon, and it is a, a smart switch that has relays already in it. And can OpenHasp run on a 3.5 screen? Yes, it can flix my switch. And that's, so one of the advantages to OpenHasp over what I had been using, which I still love, but the this works with different screens. It's not just with the, well, it's not with the Nexteon screens. It's with a lot of other uh, brands of screens, but it's all different sizes. And that's kind of what we're gonna look at today is because I've made this already on a screen but this, but that screen's a little different size. So I've made a WLED uh, interface on a different screen, but because it's a different size, it's a different resolution and stuff, I need to uh, change it. I need it to be a bit different. So we're gonna go through the process that you have to go through when you want to adjust it to a different screen. All right, well, once you once you load OpenHasp onto one of these devices, this device has an ESP32 inside. We flashed it during a stream a week or two ago. There it goes. Oh, shoot. Oh, I messed it up. Dang it. A couple things we're gonna do. The way that you adjust the interface on these is in this file editor, and especially in this pages JSON L file. So that's this guy here. All we have in here right now is one little bit of text up at the top that loads in this name where it just says Landbon L8. And then we've got three buttons down here. So each of these lines here is a button. Each of these lines, like you can't put, you can't put this on the same line as one of these. Each object that you want to show up on the screen has to be on its own line. But this is also basically one object or one line. So if it's easier for you to see it, which honestly I think it probably is in most cases, it's gonna be easier for you to see it and to find the things you wanna change if you put it in this kind of format. But a lot of the examples are in a single line, so you just cut and paste the single line, maybe adjust it a little bit. You can go back through here and you know hit enter a bunch of times and after each comma you can hit enter and it'll go. And it will be easier to follow a meta if you if you do it that way. So maybe we'll do it that way, at least for some parts of this, just to show you that yeah, you can. I do have another one set up here, which is on a little bitty device. That's this little guy here. And the screens are probably pretty similar in size, but um, we're gonna find out. So this Hasp demo, if I go to the file editor and I go to pages JSON L, this has all the components for WLED built in. Is there a way to comment with JSON? Yes, yes, you can. It has to be in quotes like that. So put it in quotes and then you can make comments. So this whole section here is WLED layout. So I'm gonna just copy this. I'm actually just gonna copy this whole thing and then I'm gonna go to my other device over here and I'm gonna go into the file editor. This is the Landbond device and I'm gonna go down here and I'm going to put it here but I can't do page one. I'm gonna make all this page two. And there's one more thing that I wanna put on here that isn't here yet and it is in the examples and that is I want the little buttons along the bottom that you can navigate back and forth among pages. Page select. Page navigation, that's what it is. That's what I want. This is what I want right here. Let's go to this example. We want this page navigation thing. So I want this. So I'm gonna just grab all this and I'm gonna go over to this one. This is the one that is for the land bond. And I'm gonna paste this up here. So this is page zero ID one, page zero ID two and page zero ID three. These are buttons. One of them is a previous, one is a back and one is a next. And then we're gonna look, we'll put it in this device and we'll see what the width, where it shows up. Uh, and then it's gonna show icons. This text over here, this text here is an icon. 
So that will show uh, an icon that's an arrow going this way or an arrow going that way or a house. And then we can change the text color if we want, all right? And because it's on page zero, what that means, if you put something on page zero, then it will show up on every page. So at the bottom of every page on this device, we will have those buttons, all right? So now I've put these buttons on and I've pasted in this WLED control section, put in a uh, quotes and we're gonna say, this is the section which deals with the, the relays. So connected relay buttons. Okay, so if you had actual lights or something connected to this device through the relays that it has inside and you wanted to turn them on and off with the buttons like that, that's how you, this is the section that deals with that. Uh, and then we'll make another section and we'll say this is the WLED control panel. All right, and then up here, this is the page navigation buttons. So now I'm gonna save that, clear the pages. So now they everything's blank and then I reload them. And now down at the bottom, I have those buttons and I think they actually are the right size. All right, so now we've got these buttons down here at the bottom. Ah, oh, those fit perfectly. Okay, great. Well, this may be the same size screen as the other one. Now when I hit that to go to the side, it takes me to my WLED page. Okay, but what I can see when I look at this, I can see a few problems. Okay, here's a few of the problems that I see that we're gonna need to modify. So down here at the bottom, the slider for speed and the random effect button are kind of cut off by those buttons at the bottom. So that just gonna mean I have to shift everything up a bit. But everything else looks pretty good. So I'm gonna just shift a bunch of stuff up. And there's a brightness slider here. So we can, we can move the brightness slider. And then of course there's the color selector over here. And then you can do the intensity and the speed and then random effect. And then if it had presets or if we were connected to a device that has presets, we would see those on there. If you can't see them here, it's like it's hard to see stuff here. The nice thing, another nice thing about this is you can go here and you can go to screenshot and it will show you what is on the screen. So you don't have to really look at my screen. You can see here and you can see the layout totally. And this, this layout uh, is, as you can tell, imperfect in that it's cutting off the bottom. And you can go previous page and now you can see those buttons. Next page and that. So let's adjust this for the land bond. So we're gonna move everything up a bit. So all right, we need to basically move everything up some number of pixels. And if this whole thing is 240 by 320, so it's 240 pixels this way, uh, 320 pixels this way. So if that's maybe a hundred and something, that's maybe a hundred and something. I think we need to move it up by at least 10. So let's just go to the code and we'll move everything up by 10. We'll go to the Y of everything and we will decrease it by 10. And well, actually we'll start with the nightlight and then we'll see what happens. We're gonna go to the file editor, pages JSON, and then we're gonna start with the very first object, which is the switch and label that say nightlight. Right now, the Y is at 25 and 49. So let's let's move it up by 10. So we'll move it up to 15 and to 39. And this is just how you do this. You just change the kind of the X and the Y and maybe the width and the height and things. Then you just start it over and you just reload it and you see where it, where it fell out. I think it needs to be higher. It's good. It's it's up there, but I think it needs to be higher. Let's put it up another 5. Save that. Clear it and reload it. Um, no, that's perfect. I think that's perfect. I think that's pretty good. We can go here real quick and we can look at the screenshots. You can see there. Now we're nice and tight up here towards the top. We got a little bit of a cushion, about the same amount of cushion that we have over there. So that looks right. And so now we can move everything else up. We move this up, we move this up and all those. We'll move them all up by 20. And we're going to go in here and all of these Y's need to go need to subtract 20. Well, that one's 57. That one's 82. This one becomes 10. This one becomes 20. You can see how you could get really screwed up in this. Oops, that one's almost changed the width. Speaking of screwing up. Okay, that one's there. This one's going to be 180. This one's going to be 260. This one's going to be 180 again. 
And this one will be 233, 205, uh, 260, 233. Okay. Here, clear pages, reload pages. And that looks pretty dang good. Let's go back here and just double check because we can really get a better look at it here. Perfect. That's perfect. That is perfect. Okay. Okay.